really interesting we we are going to be playing with the polaroid spectra camera yes the spectra camera um if you guys didn't watch my video about the polaroid polaroid lab along with the polaroid lab i actually bought the fuji not the fuji sorry competitor sorry i'm so sorry oh my god who hello okay. It's so white right now. If you guys didn't know, a couple weeks ago when I bought the Polaroid lab, I actually bought some Spectra film. It's been in the refrigerator, as you guys can see, so we're just gonna go right into it. This thing has been on my shelf for so long, it has dust on it. So yeah, that tells you guys how long I've been waiting for this film. Um, so we're just gonna go right in and open it. I know one of you guys told me that um, the Spectra film, this will be the last of it. So I'm gonna try to take good pictures, hopefully. I don't know, um, depending on what I see and stuff like that, we will see, you know? We will take a picture and see. I just hope that this film works okay. So it has the battery in the back because the thing doesn't have a battery. Um, now I gotta figure out how to open it. Okay, so there's a lever right here. You push it. It opens. Okay. It works! Woohoo! I'm not using it right now. Okay, so it's telling me it has like 10 exposures. Oh, okay, so you turn it off like this. You push this and then you close like this and it's like a little bag you know i can i can go like this woohoo woohoo check out my new bag guys this is this is so cool this is really legit and this one is made in the uk and when i bought it it actually came with a box i can't remember exactly where i got it and how much i got it for but it was probably like five six dollars what came in the box was an old spectra film box that does not work anymore and these user manuals and stuff like that whoa you can do that type of stuff with this oh they have a splitter oh okay it has splits splitters and stuff like that that you can use but i don't think mine comes with it anyways that's what it came with all right so yeah lego sorry if my hair looks messy in this video i'm just sorry you guys know my hair is like always messy like 99.9% .9 of the time, so please deal with it. It's just messy hair. What can I do? You know, whatever. Anyways, like guys, it's so pretty. Look at it. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad.
No. I'm just recording you doing it. Please taking a picture of me. Okay. How should I do this? Oh, I got jammed. Is it that? Corner. Is it that right there? Yeah, it needs to go in the rollers. Uh oh, shoot. Uh oh. oh you no. do it here. Sure. I take this. I no, think no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, what happened? I was like, wait, what was that noise? I was like, did nothing came out? Oh no, do I have to open it? Oh my god, I don't want to do this. This is gonna get my picture all ruined. Just come out. No, please. it's dark enough. It's not that bright out here. It's pretty bright. Well. Yeah. Or just wait. Oh no, we can't wait. No. The sun's gonna go down. We can't wait another hour. That's what we want right there. Come on. Get out. <laughs> Come out! Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. <laughs> you know how expensive the film is, be? Oh it's two dollars a picture. A picture? And there's only eight. Oh, I know. Oh my god. I know. I know. Well, the sun is. Well, it's actually really good right now. It's like I, very orange. Shut, can we just be quiet? I'm just very not on time right now. Time is ticking. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa. Oh my she god. It out. I need to roll it. I need to roll it so the chemical will spread. See? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So then at least I can get, you know, some something out of this picture. Oh my god. You see it? Yeah. The chemical is spreading. Whoa, fun. Do you have something else to roll it with? No, just my fingers. See, it's, look, it's moving. See, see? You need to push it from the bottom. Juice at the bottom, bring to the top. <laughs> Oh my Can you God. just shake it and wouldn't just go up? No, it wouldn't. Oh, shit. Well, we have a little bit of sun left. Oh, man. So if I get the chemical all the way through it, would you see the picture? Yeah, you would see it, but it's really exposed. So, guys, that is the end of it. I don't know. I can't play with it anymore. I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> This is so sad, guys. I'm so sad. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Theodore here. Um, if you guys hear snoring, that is Jack right there. He snores in every video. So the Spectra cameras. I was really excited to use this camera system because. As you guys all know, I love wide format. They were selling Spectra film again on the Polaroid website, so I snatched myself three packs, and I was able to take about three pictures. Not like one from each pack, but one pack, I was able to take three pictures. This is just gonna be my failed attempt at taking Spectra pictures. I know on the Polaroid website, when you buy it, there's even like a little disclaimer that says, hey, if you buy this, guess what? It's probably not gonna really work, but go ahead and buy it still. So I went on and bought it, and yeah, I was only able to take three pictures. This is one of the film packs that I used, and I actually have the film right here. <laughs> and see, as you guys can tell, this one didn't really work. And now, this is the three pictures that I was able to take on the Spectra camera. So, um, this one doesn't really count. It's like some, this one is like some abstract art type of thing. Don't really know what it is. It's really scratched right here. It looks like some sort of waves of like earth formation or something like that. Real cool, real neat. If you guys want to take a picture like this, just don't really take a picture. Just have it jam in the camera and slide out. And it'll come out like this. I'm just kidding. This one is not a picture. I this one was my failed attempt at taking a picture with the sunrise. I was really hoping I could get it out, but honestly, I really could not get it out. It was like jammed in there, and every time I would put the film back in, it wouldn't even come out. And it's so weird that it it only works for like the first three pictures, but it won't work for like the rest of them. So yeah, I'm not sure, quite sure why. But look at these, the, the three that I was able to take pictures of look so good. Sorry, a little dirty. Super duper good. Um, I find that taking pictures in the dark with this camera is incredibly good. Um, one thing though, 
the lens on this guy is kind of slow, as you can tell. It couldn't even catch the bus passing by, it's, it's just like a blur. And like, up here, there's supposed to be one moon, there's two moons, so yeah. But other than that, I really don't mind it being blurry, I think it gives it more characteristic that way, but I mean, it's a slower lens, so if you're like, I'm gonna go out and take pictures of animals, or I'm gonna go out and take pictures of my nieces or nephews, it will not work because the lens is a little slow. I really, really, really like these pictures. The picture is super contrastic and super, like, I don't know how to say it, pigmented? Is that even, is that only a term for beauty vloggers? I don't even know, but um, anyways, yeah, it's super contrastic and pigmented. I feel like sometimes it's even a little better than the Polaroid, but I wouldn't know. Well, I, I don't know if they use the same chemistry or not. I need to also point out, I did email Polaroid because it says on the disclaimer, if you guys have any questions, email me and I will try to get it fixed or something like that on the Polaroid website. Well, I did email Polaroid about my film jamming and stuff like that, and they sent me another pack of film to replace this one. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's with their their film or with the camera. I'm really not sure, but they sent me another one and I'm really thankful for that. This one has been in my refrigerator. I still have the other two, but they're all in my refrigerators right now. I have not tested out another one because I don't know, these films are so expensive. I just don't want to risk it, you know? Um, even though I know that there's just always gonna be a problem, but I just don't want to go out and take pictures and then risk another photo looking like this. I really want it to look like this, you know, cool stuff like this, but yeah, now I have some sort of geode picture, you know. At one point in the video, I did have to switch out cameras, so I switched from this camera to another Spectra camera because I thought, well, maybe there's something wrong with this one. And then I put it in this one and it'll only come out like the first, well, this isn't from the Spectra, but um, it only came out the black slide and it didn't come out anything else. So I don't know why that is. Um, it could be that the chemical pack is too thick. I'm not sure. It's really weird. and. I can tell why Polaroid doesn't want to create this stuff anymore because clearly they had to send me another one and I mean they won't be making much profit. I mean even though this is, this film pack is like 20 bucks but still I don't think they'll be making much profit off of it if they keep on having to continuously send people you know um, more film out because one of them didn't work or something like that. Honestly I really just want to take pictures with these guys until they're all like all of my four packs are done but I don't know how that's gonna go because I don't want to be wasting film so yeah I'll hold off on these for a little bit but yeah alrighty guys that is it now for my spectra film video thing I hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you guys enjoyed it please do give a thumbs up and if you haven't already please click the subscribe button and if you haven't already followed me on my social media at it's Theodore um, on Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that. It's all at it's Theodore. Alrighty, I will see you guys next time. Wait, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please follow me on my Instagram. And yeah, I hope that I, I think that's it. That's pretty much it. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Adios. <laughs>